One Piece Cardo Game Shrippum. What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joe Crew DMD, and I'm sorry that I didn't post a video last week. I've been crazy busy getting ready for my next trip to Tokyo, but I have a story time for you guys this week, and I have a bunch of really cool stuff to see, show you that I'm super, super excited about, so I hope you're as excited about it as I am, or at least a little bit. Could be cool. You can tell me about it in the comments, and if this is your first time here, and you want to see this sort of stuff usually every week. I know I was off last week because I just did so much homework. You can smash that subscription button. It'd be really cool if you did, and if you're a returning member of the Joe Crew, let's get into this story because this stuff is wild. But first off, I just want to like give some context to all the things that I've been doing. So I started making cards. You can see them on my YouTube shorts. If you go to at Kaizoku cards on Instagram, you can see a lot of the cards that I've made. They're pretty much all posted there. But I started making cards in like August and I've gone deep, 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 deep into it. And I'm working on a massive project that I haven't been able to say anything about yet. I don't know if I'll ever be able to say anything about it, but if you're part of this game, you'll know when it happens. I think that's about all I can say. But uh, it's really exciting. I'm going back to Tokyo this week to keep working on this project. And um, I just wanted to show some of my inspiration for card making because before the One Piece card game came out, I was buying up all the different One Piece cards that existed before that. And my favorite rarity is actually something called the King Rare. I'm gonna get right into it and show you guys the King Rare because I just got the final King Rare. I've been looking for it for every day. Every day I go online looking for this thing and I haven't been able to find it in months and months and months. So these are the King Rares. They're from this game called One Piece AR Formation Card Ass. And I just love so much about these cards. The kanji on them is so cool. The frame inside of the frame that makes the characters look like portraits and the way that they break the frame is just so insanely cool. This was from the first set. It was Luffy and Ace. I only have one Ace, so it's in my graded slab that I made for myself. But yeah, this Ace looks really, really cool. Luffy looks awesome. Um, and then I think the next set was, this was, uh, or this was set three, Sanji. And I think Zoro and Sanji were in set three. These are the Zoro and Sanji King Rares. Looking awesome. And then set two was Crocodile and Boa Hancock. Yeah, Boa and Crocodile were in set two of this game. This is a really short lived game. They didn't print much of it. It was very unsuccessful, but pretty, pretty cool. Um, and then set four, Rob Lucci, which, you know, I wasn't crazy about this one, but I found it at a reasonable price, so I picked it up. And the other King Rare, the elusive, most elusive, is between this cardboard. I haven't even looked at it yet. I just took it out of all the stuff to not waste extra time. But here's the reveal. It is Soge King. Wow, this just came in from Japan. And now I'm going to Japan. And this is this is the King Rare. This is the Soge King King Rare. This, But this one's like this super King Rare. Apparently, this one is more rare than the regular King Rare. And it was very difficult to find this man. But this is an SKR, which was a rarity they only had in this set. I think it's like a Super King rare or something. But I think this was a lot more rare than the Rob Lucci. And you can see, uh, yeah, I mean, this has a nice border on it. This card is amazing. I am so glad to finally have the full King rare set. So cool. Look how he's like busting into the frame from the side. And Soga King's getting a secret rare in set three. Can you believe it? I am so excited. I hope it gets the manga. Actually, I want Katakuri to get a manga art, but I would love a Soga King manga art. And at least, you know, we're gonna get an alt art as well. So I'm very excited to see what that alt art looks like. So that was some of my inspiration. Now I'm gonna go through a couple of my cards that I've made, and then we're gonna strip them a box of set one. Um, this is everybody, the people's champion and all these, I think they're mostly on my uh, YouTube shorts or some of them might be coming. I'm actually, when this video is posted, I'm going to be on a plane flying to Japan. So I'm in the air flying to Japan right now, but I hope you enjoy seeing these cards. Uh, this is, uh, Afro Luffy. I love how they set up Brooke with the Afro via Afro Luffy. I feel like that's such a smart play. It was such a big brain play, but Oda's full of those. So Uta, uh, fan favorite. Uta's awesome. I love this card. I think it looks really good. This is one of my better ones. I, I'm working on some new techniques. I, I really like this one a lot. I don't know how much people like this one, but I love it. I love the like Onigashima. I kind of like burned into the background. And this is this guy, Benjamin Art on Instagram. I, I tag him a lot on my Instagram. You can follow me and see a lot of the artists that I work with. 
But this just looks so clean. I love the like yellow outer glow and the stuff going on with his hair. This is actually like a labradorite stone in the background that I burned through these different parts of the image to kind of show it coming through. Yamato, this was actually the second card that I printed was this art, but this one looks a lot better. This has come a long way. And I commissioned this redraw of this art so I had the line work and could print it at a much higher quality. This is a Boa Hancock. This is a more interesting one. I don't know, there's some like cool snake stuff going on in it. I like that. And Sabo, this is a recent one. I think this is gonna be released on the Instagram when I get back from Tokyo, I think. But I don't really know what's gonna happen to those. Anyway, I had to do a Sabo. When I was in Tokyo last time, a lot of people were asking for Sabo, so I wanted to make a Sabo card to bring with me on my adventure. Shirohige, this one I've shown on a YouTube short. I think uh, quite a few people had seen it. This art is by Stevenardo da Vinci on Instagram. He does really amazing work, really cool like line work, very Marvel-esque sort of. And I had this redrawn also. I think this is an asset from one of the games, but I had Benjamin redraw it and I think it allowed me to just make it a lot cleaner. And I did this thing with this like yin yang fire water thing in the background. Marco, I love Marco. A lot of people are asking for Marco also. Zorojuro, this is also Steven Ardo da Vinci. He just sent me this one recently and told me to do it up. So I gave it a try. I think this one's pretty cool. I think it's actually one of the cooler cards that I've made. So I'm really psyched that he shared this with me so that I could print it up because I really, really like this. I printed a bunch to give out in Tokyo also. Captain Falcon. I don't know if you all know this, but I'm a big time Falcon fan. Falcon main since the age of 16. Uh, I used to play the Prince of Falcons, which is this white falcon all the time, but I have since changed over to the Bloodhawk. I don't know if you all know about the Bloodhawk, but look it up. Kozuki Odin. This is a new one. A lot of people were asking for Odin because I kept printing Yamatos and calling them Odins because Yamato is Odin, but I think a lot of people wanted like this Odin. So uh, I found a cool art from a game and had Ben redraw it and I made this card. And here is the boys, the best boys. Best boys unite on a card. Here come best boys, Steven Ardo da Vinci also. This was the this is the art that the Zoro is from, but really, really amazing, amazingly cool, colorful stuff. That's my back. I have this theory that modern day trading cards are like modern day or Japanese trading cards are like modern day Japanese woodblock prints. So I put this wave by Hokusai and kind of put it in your face by putting it in my face. And this is series three because I started doing like background blending stuff with this series. So that's why I have that back on there. Anyway, those are all the cards that are already out of packs and made and collected. Now let's get into some One Piece Kado game. Shrip them. I um, am going back to Tokyo. I've met uh, a bunch of really cool DJs over there the last time I was there and I got to play a bunch of music. So I have a bunch of gigs lined up where I'm gonna get to play some music um, at them. I've been DJing, well, I've been mixing music for a long time. My brother is actually a very, um, very, very skilled DJ, quite well known. He's done well for himself, but uh, he taught me everything I know about mixing music, and he's definitely my sensei in that regard. How about a Perona would be cool? Who's who? Got me like that, just like that. Um, he taught me everything I know about DJing, so. Um, and at this point, I don't really, you know, I can mix music. I'm a good hype man and I like to have fun. So I oh, gotta bless him. Oh, strip him to bless him. Yeah, I like to have fun and party, um, but I'm not really a musician. I don't really know a lot of technical aspects about music. I focused more on Kingu, just like that. I focused a lot more on um, art, visual art. I, I have a, a bachelor's degree in art. I studied my undergraduate degree was in studio art. I focused in screen printing, actually. I did a ton of printing when I was in uh, undergrad, which is where I kind of know these different techniques or was able to develop these techniques from my study of screen printing um, years and years and years ago. But yeah, I don't really know music that well. I have like a good sense of rhythm and I like moving to a beat and I like playing. So all of those things kind of work together for me to be able to perform music, but I wouldn't actually call myself a DJ. Actually, my brother doesn't want me to call myself a DJ, which I respect because he is my sensei and he is teaching me. So, um, and, I, and I don't consider myself to actually be technically a DJ, but I do use that word when I'm in Tokyo because I don't think, I think it just kind of refers to somebody as making music and mixing music. So that's kind of what I do. And, um, 
Yeah, so I have a bunch of music that I'm going to be playing at uh, bars and clubs. I think most nights I'm there, actually. And then I have this very um, important meeting that I'm very excited for. I kind of actually got the green light with the project that I'm working on. So I'm going this trip, actually, on this meeting, going to be kind of putting more direction into where this thing is going to go. And I'm really excited for all of you to see anybody that knows... My, ooh, Don Quixote, Do Flamingo. This is cool because I think I'm actually playing this deck. I really like Dofi. Um, my buddy came over last week, some friends I made at Locals, and we were hanging out, and he waxed me with Dofi. And I just really, really thought his list was super cool. Um, I had a lot of fun playing against it, so I um, am building it myself, and I'm going to play it myself. I have a feeling there's an alt art leader in here. I think there's an alt leader in here. I could be wrong. If we pull another alt art, that means that there's going to be a secret rare in here, which I think at this point should probably be Shanks. Um, but yeah, all very exciting stuff. I'm very, oh, Zoro Judo. Wow, this is a pretty wild box. Um, yeah, I really like Dofi a lot. I think I'm going to play it at Treasure Cup. I'm going to be at Miami and California Treasure Cup, by the way. So if you're there, please come up and say hi to me. Please ask to take a picture with me because I love Yamato. So there should be another alt art in this box, I think. I think we got, or maybe this was the double box. I don't know, I can't remember. I haven't opened a box in a while. Um, but yes, please please come up, say hi. Uh, let's take a picture together. When I was in middle school, people always used to call me a poser because I used to wear like skate clothes, but I wasn't very good at skating. And I wanted to be good at skating, but I just wore the clothes so people would call me a poser. And I figured that I would just really own that and practice posing in photos a lot, which I did uh, over the course of my life. And I find, I think that like, I really enjoy posing um, in pictures. So if you want to come take a picture with me, I would love to do that. Uh, and I would like a picture for my own personal collection on my phone. So if that's cool, if I can take a picture too, I really appreciate that. And I, I might even have some shiny stuff with me as well you know i usually walk around with a lot of treasure in my bag assortment of treasures um so please come say hi let's uh pose together and I, that's just when i come back from tokyo so i should have some really exciting news and stories also so you know please come hang out and hopefully we can all i actually might play some music at a at a club in miami the weekend of the miami treasure cup possibly on friday night i'm still working out the details of that but if i do I hope everybody that's here that's coming to that can come out and hang out and we can shake our booties together and get some pirate booty on the dance floor and have some fun with the dang thing. Wow, a Zoro and a Law in one box? That's really good. That's really, really great. That's a great box. That is a wonderful box. These cards are getting crazy value. The boxes are going crazy too. I see people that are like, oh, like, uh, oh, 250 is like so crazy to buy a box. It's, it's really not. Like, this game is going to go to the moon. This game is going way past the moon. Ne next year, I think these boxes are going to be like 800 bucks. So, I mean, it's going to be interesting to see what happens with a, if there's a reprint, which there was a lot of talk about a reprint happening. So, I'm be surprised if there isn't one. Um, and I'm sure prices will go down when a reprint does come about, if it does, which. Feel like it should they should print more i know my understanding is that more was printed can't confirm or deny that but um yeah i think this game is going to be insanely valuable i think all one piece cards that came before this are going to increase in value too because of this game i think people are just gonna this this story is not ending anytime very soon and i think things are just going to keep going in the upward direction with all things one piece related so it's good to live the pirate's life and just, you know, get some packs, keep some packs sealed, keep some sealed boxes, buy singles. That's the best way to get cards. Um, but yeah, I should have a really uh, exciting stuff to share from Tokyo. So please tune into my Instagram if you want to watch my adventure. It's at JokuDMD. And if you want to see all the new cards, at Kaizoku Cards is where we're posting them. There, there'll be some more. I, um, I hired a personal assistant recently and she's been extremely helpful in all this stuff. Yeah, so that was a one one alt box which i think i feel like there's a couple so i think one of these alt art boxes if it's just one alt and a secret rare the secret rare could be manga shanks so maybe we'll open manga shanks in one of these story times when i'm back because i'm not opening anything anytime soon 
I'm going to try and post a video of like Tokyo highlights next week. So it's not going to be a shrip em, but if you want to see it, please tune in and check it out. Uh, I should have some good documentation of my adventures. I'm very, very excited to make a lot of new friends. I'm going to be giving out a lot of cards. If you're in Tokyo and you find me, I'll be wearing this hat and a shiny jacket or a jacket with my pirate logo on the back of it. Just come up to me and tap me on the shoulder and give me a hug or a high five or whatever you're comfortable with. And um, I'll probably have a card for you, most likely, in my bag. So thank you so much. Oh, and a coin and a pin. I don't know. I'll have a lot of treasure in my bag. It depends how much I've given it away by the time that you find me. I'm a dentist. I can't end without giving a dental tooth tip. My dental tooth tip to you would be don't just go to the dentist twice a year. It really depends on what you need. Everybody's different. Everybody has different needs. Go to a dentist you can trust, that you feel comfortable with, and that actually takes the time to talk to you and explain stuff to you and figure out what the right frequency to be going for your visits is because people just build up stuff in their teeth faster and make sure you're brushing twice a day and flossing at night before you brush after dinner and you should be doing pretty good with your teeth. If you have any questions about things to use, drop a question in the comments. I'll do my best to get back to it. I've been drowning in messages, but I'm absolutely doing my best to respond to everything that I possibly can. So please, uh, onegaishimasu. Have some grace. Thank you. Gozaimasu. And I'll see you all when I'm back from Tokyo. Yeah! Force! Bound the man! Arigatos!